building here has the potential to help save 10 million lives. Unicorn Hunters. It's ahora hablamos de Unicorn Hunters. Unicorn Hunters is looking for that next billion dollar idea from entrepreneurs. We're searching for that billion dollar business, a unicorn. RUV Technologies has developed Krypton disinfection lighting. Forte is a tech company that enables dims to create a digital experience. The CVAC system is an air vacuum chamber. Mechanical trees solve climate change. Our technology now has the ability to predict health outcomes and save lives. What concerns me, your lack of ambition. 70 million in three years, that's not much. I love supporting small business, but is this a big enough market? To what degree it's a personal cost for you, and to what degree it's business? Why aren't you already a unicorn? Your gross revenue was $126,000. How are you going to increase that for 2021? Do you see yourself on the acquisition path in the near term, or do you prefer to take this company to IPO? That out-of-pocket cost is not a reality. This is the time of our lives. Order! Order! This show has a very good chance of changing the world. We gotta get down to business. You'd actually make rather a good prime minister. I think we're looking at the next Elon Musk. Everyone is going to benefit. I must show you one more thing. There's more? <gasps> this sounds like a labor-intensive business model. Why are you doing this? So what's your why? How many women work at Vast Minds, and how are you including them? I like a lot of things about it. But before you get too cocky, I don't know if people are gonna invest. This didn't go as expected. The best presentation I've yet to see at Unicorn Hunters, by far. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. I'm in. I'm definitely in. And I'm going to invest. Let's go, Nick. Let's go, Nick. Can I call my mom? I am excited to go out there. This show is going to really put us on the map. Right here. Mahir Shah steps into the circle of money over 8,000 miles from his strong family bonds in Mumbai, India. Immigrating to the U.S. to study computer engineering at Drexel University, he felt a pull to enter medicine, as his beloved father wished. Mahir decided if he couldn't be a doctor, he'd design a machine that could save precious lives. His groundbreaking technology has the potential to correct an injustice facing women on a global scale and become a global health unicorn. I am nervous, but I've got too much energy, I think, built up. Okay, let's go. What I'm holding here has the potential to help save 10 million lives. Wow. Hi, my name is Mihir Shah, and my company is developing technology that's helping to fight breast cancer. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in the world, with 2.3 million cases expected in 2021. And with 685,000 deaths, it's also the most lethal cancer in women. Over a decade, more than 10 million lives may be lost. However, 
90% of these lives can be saved with access to early detection and good treatment. I have lost my aunt, a friend, and a cousin to breast cancer. And I hope no one here has had to bear that kind of pain. These numbers are not just scary statistics, it's personal. In the US, breast cancer mortality is 40% higher in black women than in white women. In India, my birth country, half of all breast cancer deaths are in women below age 50. And that's because majority of the cases come in late, way too late at stage three and four. And there are similar challenges worldwide, from Europe to Latin America and from Middle East and North Africa to South Asia and Southeast Asia, over a billion women with limited access to early detection. And this is why UE Life Sciences was born. We are a growing women's health company that's developing innovative solutions for preventive oncology. Solutions that are both effective and accessible. Ours is a diverse team of engineers, clinicians, researchers, public health experts based in the US, Malaysia, and India. Our products are engineered for scale and adoption across primary care, telehealth, and at-home markets. This is iBreast Exam. It's a handheld device that pairs with a mobile app. It enables frontline health workers to find and document tiny breast lumps virtually in any setting without any pain or radiation and in just a few minutes. In clinical studies, it's been shown to find lumps the size of a grain of rice. Eye breast exam is US FDA cleared as a breast lesion documentation tool. So now routine clinical exams can be more thorough, objective, and breast health can be easily tracked over time. This innovation makes early detection more personal, more humane, and universally accessible to everyone. My company, UE Life Sciences, has clinically proven eye breast exam and is commercializing it in multiple markets simultaneously around the world. We have eight distribution partners and we are also excited to bring on board leading pharma company and medical technology companies to scale this globally. Already, we have sold 750 scanners and over 1.5 million scans. Wow. 450,000 women have already received a breast exam and we've helped identify over 200 cases of cancer. We've raised $6.6 .6 million from grants, awards, and amazing angel investors. And now we need your support. We are asking for $20 million to help execute our business plan and accomplish our goal. I assure you, I assure you together, we can and we will get early detection to a billion women. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody here, you sold 750 scanners. Yes, Over how much time and what did that gross you? So we started the sales uh, after setting up our production facility and after FDA clearance. We now have clearance in 10 markets and these sales have been made over the last three years. What's the total sales? We've uh, sold products worth three and a half million so far. You mentioned that your product is cleared in 10 different markets. Yes. Can you tell us the major markets it's cleared in? Sure, so iBreast is commercially available right now and through the regulatory process in Mexico, India, Malaysia, Thailand, Myanmar, Botswana, Oman, United States, Europe, uh, and... Okay, it, it would be short if I ask whether it's not cleared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. What do they sell for each? So iBreast exam is designed intelligently to provide access to early detection and not just equipment. The scanner retails for about $5,000, but it often is bundled in uh, along with the purchase of many of these cartridges. This sensor has 648 capacitive sensors that can measure tissue elasticity in real time. We preload these sensor cartridges 
much like a printer ink cartridge with 100 or 500 scans. And how much is the cost to the doctor's office and then ultimately to the woman? So uh, the eye breast exam to the woman would cost somewhere between seven to $15. Mm. So the price of a Starbucks latte. Yeah. Exactly, we yeah. want this to be at a fraction of the cost of other medical tests. Wow. wow. And what we also provide is the mobile app, which is free, any doctor can install it. And for health systems and ministries of health is a global cloud dashboard. So every scan is synchronized to the cloud so that they can take a look at who's positive, who needs to be referred to the follow-up. All of that happens on an AI-based cloud system. Is your data in the cloud secure? Yes, sir. So currently we are working with Azure Cloud Services and we have developed our software to be in our cloud service to be HIPAA compliant. And we don't intend to share our clinical data with anybody. Well, will the patient have access to all of this information or is it just the doctor? No, the patient is able to get access to their breast exams. First time ever. Eye breast exam will create a digital documentation of wow. the clinical exam so that when you go next year to your doctor, you and your doctor both know what was going on last time. You're providing an app, right? Yes. How does your app change? Cell phones change a lot and different types and... It'll update itself, just like any other app will have updates. This will be a multilingual app as well, so women around the world will use it in their language. That's amazing, Mihir. Are you reinventing the mammogram with this effectively? That's a loaded question. Well, but that's very important yes. because we all know that mammogram is not a very pleasant experience, don't we? <laughs> Our goal is not to replace the mammogram. Our goal is really to work with mainstream medicine collaboratively. Will this replace the manual exam? Um, today, I'm here to make a global unveil of our latest innovation. Oh! Really? And it's in my pocket. I present to you, Selfie. Come here, come here. Check this out. This commercial model of Selfie, which is designed for women to use at home, will make breast examination absolutely objective, easy, trackable, shareable, all of that. And it is powered with the amazing technology that we have in the hands of the care provider, in the hands of every woman. That is great. How, how much does this cost? Selfie will be $200. Aww. It'll be backed with a subscription model. Women will have access to their data. They'll be able to order BRCA gene test on it they'd be able to get a second read of their mammogram with AI. They'd be able to measure their breast cancer risk. I mean, this is like nothing done ever before. Brilliant. We have a global audience, me here, and yes. many people will have questions about your product. And I would love to welcome one of our members of the Unicorn okay. Hunters Club to ask you a question. Hello, my name is Deborah Cuthill, and I'm from South Africa. Can your device distinguish between cancer and a non-cancerous or benign tumor? We do not characterize breast lesions for a reason. We'd like this to be a preliminary exam. And so for that reason, we do not distinguish between benign and malignant lesions. Thank you for your answer. So me here, I'm in such awe over what you've done. I really am. I now wonder how many other millions of people you might be able to early detect cancer. Where do you see yourself headed in that respect? I really must show you one more thing. Okay. Wow. More? There's more? You're a box of surprise, Mihir. <laughs> we had a mobile phone capable to do breast examinations, and so we converted it into a cervical cancer screening tool. This camera over here turns this mobile phone into a pocket colposcope. It allows care providers to take a picture of the cervix. That result is more accurate than a pap test, an HPV DNA test, or cytology test. And so breast and cervical cancer together are 50% of all women's cancers, and we have a solution for that. So if it was a cyst that was benign, it would say no right away, or what? What would you see if you just had a cyst? It really needs to have a hard lump to push back. But a hard lump isn't always cancerous. What result would you see? Could I actually demo you the eye breast exam in real time? Would we wow. like to see a functional uh, demonstration? That's a great wow. idea. All right, it, it's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> All I want you to do is put your finger directly in the middle of the sensor and you will see the sensor oh, respond wow. in real time. Yeah, look at that. If you swipe your fingers across the sensor, 
Just like a touchscreen, you will see your finger in real time. Look okay. at that. Think of how much time that frees up for doctors. Think about how much yeah. this frees up. Just the worry and fear and timing of scheduling some of these, Not you know. Not to mention the lives it might take. Absolutely, this is really quite remarkable. I feel like we're listening to the Elon Musk of medicine right I, now. I, I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> this is great. Uh, how many false positives do you get? We have studied eye breast exam through independent researchers. And in those studies, we've learned that eye breast exam has sensitivity of around mid 80s, 85, 86% and has specificity of 92 to 94%. I would like you to directly hear from clinical champions, key opinion leaders, thought leaders from around the world. As a breast surgeon, if I were on the front lines in a low or middle income country working out of a Jeep, I would want at least this technology in my hands. You, you don't need a doctor for running it. Anyone can learn to, to operate this machine in about five minutes. In fact, patients can use the eye breast exam on their own breasts as well. It can be operated anywhere, it's a portable machine. Right now we are planning on testing about two to 300 women a day. If I remember correctly, you said that you have raised previously $6.6 .6 million. Yes. Who are your primary investors? So we have two major uh, buckets from where that capital has come. 4.3 million of that capital has come from phenomenal angel investors. In addition to the venture capital, we raised $1.7 million in grants and awards. This is non-dilutive capital that has gone to the most riskiest parts of our business, which is research and development, clinical studies, you know, things that investors don't really like to back so much. Stop, stop right there, because otherwise you are going to uh, end up in too good to be true type of category. <laughs> <laughs> I really seem motivated by by service rather than money. Everything that I am, everything that I'm able to do is because of my dad. He just believed in innovation so much that he said, look, you're gonna go to the US and study there, but you better develop something so amazing that's gonna do something so awesome for people. Or by the way, my dad is the first investor in UE Life Sciences. He put in $75,000 in 2009. Everything that we've been able to do has been with his blessings. I lost him on November 30th, 2018 but I think his blessings are definitely gonna make sure that this gets to where it needs to get to. He's but here, thank you for he is so here. Let me tell you, you are why we created and do this show, my brother. I mean, this really is, why. Yeah, this, 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 is, this is the platform for you, well done. It's a great story. Here, we are a global show, and we now have a question from one of our global celebrity investors. Hello, Mahir, and thank you for that amazing presentation. I have a question though. How does this help the deeper conversation about breast health in general around the world? Great question. We were brought at the table with a Ministry of Health that had provided clinical breast exam to millions of women in their country. And their false positive rate was 15%. Their pickup rate was one twelfth of what it should have been. And they knew that they needed a handheld device that would be usable by their frontline health workers. And so when they met iBreast, they said, this is exactly what we've been looking wow. for. iBreast is a true public health or global health intervention. Thank you so much for what you're doing and I wish you the best of luck. How do you market this? How are you getting it out to all of these doctors and then ultimately to the women around the world who most need it? As a small company, we haven't been able to put adequate resources to marketing so far. Having said that, we have currently an amazing partnership with Pfizer Pharmaceuticals. Pfizer is helping us get in front of ministries of health and large scale HMOs to establish iBreast as the standardized tool across that country. In the United States, we are right now in advanced level of conversation with a global medtech player to bring distribution of eye breast exam to reach every single primary care provider and gynecologist in the United States. Wow, that's impressive. Mihail, what are the projected revenues? What is your exit strategy? In the next three years, we are projecting $70 million in revenues. Yeah, but the numbers do not add up, Mihail. I am conservative, so I, know I will say that. Well, you're standing on the head of a unicorn. You shouldn't be conservative. I, I rather- If you wanna dominate the world, you need to think really, really big. So eye breast exam can be available in a million clinicians' hands around the world. I like that better, come on. Yeah. And in terms of the consumer device, there are a billion women that are in need for an eye breast exam. You asked me for a projection. 
And I have always been a, an entrepreneur that likes to overperform. What do you need to make this a company? Capital, capital, capital. That is why I'm here. But you've been studying this for 12 years. Why so long? It was an all Iverest exam. You see, uh, we started in 2009 to bring early detection to women. We developed an instrument that was $50,000 in cost. Me and my partners, Matt Campisi, who's a genius of technology, and Nick Sangui, who's an amazing operations guru. The three of us realized that that first device was not going to transform access to early detection. Why don't you have a women co-founder? Yes, I know, I wish I could. You can, certainly. <laughs> I know that we are underrepresented in our executive team uh, with women. A little disturbing that you are helping women with their health and you are not having women in your executive team. First of all, that UE Life Sciences employs more women than men. And I absolutely make a pledge to hire every amazing woman entrepreneur that I can find. And in the meantime, why don't you save millions of women's lives no, while absolutely. we're working on that, right? So unless anyone has any other questions, Mahir, we're gonna excuse you from the circle of money so we can deliberate. I thank you. Thank you, Thank man. you for your time. I think I left nothing on the table. I think that this is a topic that's connected with many of them at a personal level. As I say, right, this is an opportunity to do phenomenally well by doing good. How can you look away from that? And I guess I'm thinking about my dad. He's the reason why I'm here. This is everything that he'd want. I'm gonna go out there on a limb and say, I think we're gonna get every single one of them to say yes. All right, this is something that the whole world needs. It would save millions of lives. This is the place for potential unicorn businesses to unveil their magnificent new product. I wasn't expecting him to pull something out of one pocket and then pull something out of another pocket. <laughs> and yet he's backing it up with data and studies that show that this actually works. There's something about this guy in his innovative spirit has that right dose of a concern uh, to better humanity. And then this ability to be articulate and then this brilliance, just brilliance. Yeah. I choked up the story about his dad. This guy's an inspiration. I love his vision. I love his purpose. The only thing I didn't like much is that he thought about 70 million. I was saying 70 billions with a B, like a yeah. baby. Do you think that's a personality <laughs> thing though? I mean, yeah, his humble. mission statement seems to be, you know, under promise, over deliver. I agree, yeah. It was like, wah, wah, yeah. right? Uh, right. Especially yeah. because it affects every single person on this planet. We yeah. all know someone yeah. at breast cancer. Well, and Rosie, yeah. why isn't he projecting a 10X yeah, on that? Yeah, I think that? he's had the support of a lot of great people. Yes. He has, it sounds like he has the right investors and he has you know, billionaires backing him, which yes. is amazing. So I do kind of wonder, you know, what is lighting his fire here? What are we missing? I do feel like I didn't get enough of his financial information. Certainly. But at the same time, I do think there's a lot of promise that this is such a global issue. But I, I just feel like I'm missing something. He has the powerful investor. He has the technology, the patents. He has pretty much everything. Yeah. The only thing that I come to think when I see him being so modest, where we come from, like thinking too big can yeah. make you look delusional. That's no, you're exactly right. right. You're and absolutely we're right about that. For that. I think we've got to recognize that culturally, possibly, humility is kind of something that's instilled in us. I don't think it's humility. Huh? No, I mean, he, he had a lot to show. This was a great show and tell. And I think I was very proud of it. I, I'm not sure. What do you think it is, Rosie? I, I don't think it's culture humility. I, I, I just think where that. Where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? Okay, you look at a product development, and it doesn't happen instantly. And he's developed great products in very important areas, new technologies applying them. He's come all the way down to the selfie, and he's lowered the cost and availability for more people. This is an incredible product development story to me. Yeah, yeah and I think, Steve, that when you just constructed uh, your first computers, you didn't know that half the world is going to be using them. Yeah, you read my mind, uh, Alex. It's the products actually changed and improved mm -hmm. through time. All right, guys, are we ready to bring me here back in? Bring him back. Yeah, you're ready. Yep. Incredible presentation, and uh, I commend you on what you are doing. It's really important. 
We're gonna give you 60 seconds to give your final pitch to us uh, and to all the investors around the world. I'll, I'll never forget the day a woman walked up to me and said, thank you for saving my life. God bless you. And I can't really describe the feeling I had at the time, but that was enough motivation for a lifetime. You know, we can truly deliver the fighting chance women deserve against cancer. We have the team, the technology, the partnerships, and a plan. If I could borrow from the famous words of Dr. King, you know, this is the fierce urgency of now, and we need vigorous positive action. This is an amazing opportunity to do well by doing good. And I hope you consider that opportunity. Thank you. Didn't even need 60 seconds. Mikhail, thank you so, so much. Doing well by doing good, it's something that resonates to everyone of us here in this circle yes, of money. Yes, thank you. And we would like to take this opportunity to give you our final thoughts and invite us to start. And normally at this stage, we have a lot of possible concerns. This time we had just about zero, but the only consideration was, why aren't you already a unicorn? <laughs> that means a lot to me coming from you. Welcome. Thank you. The only thing I'm not clear about is how you're going to market this. Other than that, I think this is incredible. Thank you. Thanks, Lance. Thank you. For someone who looks so young, you've obviously put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into these products. I would have wanted a little bit more information on some of your numbers, a little bit more about your projections and strategies moving forward. I'll give it some thought. Thank you. I like what you're doing. The only thing that concerns me is your lack of ambition in terms of how fast you can get to the numbers. Thank you. Remember always that we need to look like the people that we are serving. Yes. We want probably. to impact the lives of women. I think they should see themselves in your C-suite. Other than that, I have nothing, absolutely nothing negative to say. Thank you. Mihir, at this stage, we're supposed to give our opinion by stating the positive and the negative. That's pretty much the first time when I am struggling to find the negative and I'm not finding, so I'm passing the word <laughs> wow. to Chris. You're here because your father wanted you to be a doctor. All of us here were brought together because of the excitement of the opportunity to bring something to the masses that can impact their lives, and in this instance, save lives. It seems like a foregone conclusion, but before you get too cocky, we gotta get down to business. I'm gonna send this over to Waz, because Waz knows what's up. Waz, in or out. I do things always jointly thinking of my wife and waiting for a text from her. <laughs> yes, we're in. Well said, thank you. This is the innovation that we need in honor of my grandmother, my aunt, my cousin, my best friend, everyone that is a breast cancer survivor, I am so in for this. We'll make it happen, we'll make it happen, thank you. I think the most compelling reason for my decision is probably the fact that your device has already detected approximately 200 cases of cancer. Yes. One life would have been enough. I'm in. I love what you are doing. I want to support you financially. I want to help you with marketing. And most importantly, I want to help you recruit more women engineers. Thank you. Mahir, there isn't anybody in this circle, there isn't anybody watching who was not impacted by a woman. I am counting on you to protect them for us, to cherish them for us, to save them for us. You're gonna be the first one I actually invest more than I ever have before. Thank you. Thank you. Here is your particular company is the one where I can be considering a, a large serious investment. The amount will be determined after I do other due diligence, but 
I'm absolutely certain that I'm going to be an investor, uh, so I'm definitely in. Thanks, Alex. I mean, it's a simple, unmitigated yes. I would love to be in. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you. Thank you. Seven out of seven, guys. Yay. Well, that's absolutely awesome. Thank you. I have your first contribution. Yeah. Oh my God. So do you know that in an Indian tradition, when elders or loved ones... Young ladies. Young, la young ladies, uh, when they offer you a token, it is considered to be the most precious gift they give you. And that means a lot to me. Your lucky $2 so bill. So I'm going to sign this. So hang this on your wall, frame it, wow. whatever you want to do. Wow. <laughs> Coming into today, I was really nervous not Looking to really awesome. present, but to kind of Thank you. Good think luck. about the outcome. Great job. To see that we got not only like seven out of seven, but with the excitement with which they came in, it's mind blowing. Steve just gave me his card. <laughs> I wanted to congratulate him and tell Thank him how you, absolutely I, proud I am of you. Your words were very meaningful and the way you said it, what you said, means a lot to me. Oh, I'm so glad. Honestly, you were absolutely perfection. Perfection. Did you get that on video? Like, did he just Oh, you're filming that? all? <laughs> <laughs>